Well, how do there people in the viewerverse? As I count on numbers to you, and today, chums, I'm hoping to be playing a little bit of No Man's Sky in VR. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe go and find myself a nice sort of lush planet to go and look around inside of VR, scan a few creatures, and just basically just go on a little mini adventure. I did do one of the Quicksilver missions. It took me to a black and white planet, and it was, it was terrible. So, yeah. I want to do something a little bit more gnarly than that. So yeah, join me in a moment and we'll be inside of No Man's Sky. See you in a bit. Well, how do there jump? So I am now inside of No Man's Sky and I'm inside of the Nexus watching people's ships flop and people falling from the ceiling. Well, okay. Interesting guy. Hello. Right, well, let's head on over. Now I did say I was going to do some exploration, but you know what, before I do the exploration, I'm just going to go on over to the Nexus queue. I'm just going to see what missions are being offered up by good old Nexus. Let's have a quick look-see and see what's in there, because if there is something tasty, I'd just freaking do it. Hack a sentinel pillar on my own. Taking out sentinels. Do I dare do that? I think I do. We're going to freaking do that. We're going to take on the sentinels, people, in the view of us. Heck yes we are. I'm doing this on my own. We're doing that then, people. Hopefully it's going to take me to a decent planet. If it doesn't take me to a decent planet and it's another black and white freaking planet, then yeah, maybe I made the wrong choice. Maybe I should have gone and looked for a nice lush planet to actually explore, okay, people? But we shall see. I just want to try doing a, a quick sort of mission, people. I guess I do. Lovely job, Lee. Let's head on out. Mission started. Probing the eye. Oh, fudge and hell. That's probing the eye for freaking reals, isn't it? Yeah, so when this first dropped this update, we didn't have all this pixelization going on. Well, we did. Yeah, so when the update dropped, it was doing this. Then they dropped a batch of pip fixes, fixed that, and now it's back again. It's back again, people. So they've rebroken the case of it. Alright, okay, let's, um, there's the planet over there that we're going to. Lovely. And um, aim it down a bit. I think I might inverse my flight while I'm flying, you know? Because I can't get on with pressing up to go down and, and down to go up. Okay, here we go. Let's um, let's engage that and engage that. Boom! We're on our way to the Sentinel Pillar. Now, when I tried doing Hunt Hazardous Flora, as I got near to the marker, the marker vanished, and then I couldn't see where I needed to land to go to the actual Traveller's Grave. It took me like 12 minutes walking on foot to get to the Traveller's Grave. And when I got to the Traveller's Grave and hit up the Traveller. His message box came up across the floor, and I couldn't read it because his legs were in the way. And so, although they've fixed a lot of the message things that come up, they haven't re-looked at the uh, missions and the mission givers and the travellers and things for some of these missions. So it does make me wonder how I'm going to get on inside of VR. I'm just going to move my chair back just a teeny bit, because I, I keep touching the desk. Okay, so here we go. Let's, um, let's just reset to that. There we go. That's better. Yeah, boom. Boom. Let's take this in then. Go! Tiny ho! Away we go. Boom. Okay, you see that just moved there. Hopefully we're not going to have any issues. Why is my ship not levelling off? Okay, there we go. There it is. Slow this down. Now, I'm not seeing the sentinel pillar. Slow down. No. Nope. Slow down. Hi, you bugger. Okay. Now you see the mark has disappeared again, people. That's what I mean. For whatever reason... Yeah, you don't see the approximate marker. Now I know it was somewhere just around here in this little divot. So I'm just going to land here, and then we're going to go looking for the Sentinel Pillar people in the view of us. There we go. Now this is quite a mountainous planet. Now I did say I wanted to do just general planet exploration. You know what? This isn't a bad planet to do that on anyway. I mean, it's a swamp planet, but it's quite a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, Exo, what do you make of this planet, my little chum? What do you think of this? Extreme yeah, I know, right? It's, it's pretty darn freaking nice, isn't it? So yeah, it has worked out fairly good. Alright, so we've got to go this way, by 700 U's that way. Okay, people, well, it's going to take me a little while to cover that amount of ground in VR. I'm not going to lie, because I, I don't know how to do the melee strafe job yet. Scottish Rod has done a, a video on the on the old freaking melee strafe jump that I haven't watched yet. I need to get around and watch that, so I know what I'm doing. Anyway, just trying to get my view right inside my headset there. That's a lot sharper, that's a lot better. 
So if you do see that it's sort of like a little bit washed out or slightly blurry, just just tweaking the headset just a little bit ups the sharpness like a great deal. It's freaking unbelievable. There's a sweet spot. You have to get it right for No Man's Sky, else it does look a bit blurry. So I think a few people that might have reported on how blurry it is just may have had their headset in the wrong place, because for me, this is really sharp and it's freaking great. Okay, is that the Sentinel Killer over there? I'm still going the right way. Anyway, like I say, I recon oh, well, I can see the Sentinel Pillar. It's just over there. Now, I can't do the melee straight jump. Um, but I'm going to give it my best shot. <laughs> there we go. Barging hack. Okay, this was not a good idea. That was not the melee strafe jump. And um, I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel. Not that I know. Oh, it's nearly out now. Okay, if I did do the melee strafe... Ah, Jesus! Fridging Christ! <laughs> I made my belly go funny. Okay, right. Okay, this is a completely different game inside of VR. I'm telling you people, it is freaking awesome. Um, yeah, if you haven't got VR but you've got a friend that has, you've got to try No Man's Sky in VR. It's well worth a go. It really is. Oh, look at these trees. Isn't that freaking cool? Now, I was playing the Star Wars demo the other day, and it was very linear. Not like this at all. When you actually just feel how open universe this game is, it's freaking amazing, isn't it? Okay, well, we've arrived, Decatur, at the Sentinel Pillar. Security alert. I've got to take out three waves of these Sentinels inside of VR mode. So let's start with the minor two, shall we? Boom! Take that, Sentinel Scutter! Yes! I'm using my charging gun. How do you like that? Shoot both your legs. How? You're dead! Charge! Uh, the, <laughs> the healer robot was a bit too late to the game there. I guess I'm going to blow up these nodes. Ooh. Ah! Boom, I like those breaking noises. Take that, scout out. <laughs> Boom. Pow. Boom. Why aren't you dead? Freaking die. Oh no, it's got a healer going over to him now. Okay, well I'm gonna interact with this. Oh, you can't. Okay, that's a bit... Do you have to put your gun away? That's a bit shite. Okay. Because that charges up your shields again. But you have to put your gun away to pick it up. That's no sight. Like. Because I've got two bloody hands, you'd think I'd be able to pick it up with the other hand. No. No, Captain Steve, you've got to use your dominant hand. What the actual fudge? At least I think you do. Oh no, the little healer's gonna get it. There you go. Let's interact with one of these. Let's 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 try that again. Yeah look, I can't use that hand, so you have to use this one. But you have to put it away first before you can do it. Ah oh, man, and that's just not good during combat, but that's how you get your shields back. See what I mean? Although this game has gone over PlayStation VR 2, it's like, has it though? Have they actually played it? <laughs> and what is, another thing is, oh, I need to do a review. I need to do a review, and that needs to be in it, doesn't it, really, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, I'm kind of reviewing it during these Cup of Tea episodes. You know, a lot of people have said, I've watched your video, and from your video, I'm definitely guessing it. It is well worth um, playing it. it. If you're a massive fan of No Man's Sky, this is going to bring in so much more for you to do, so much more for you to see, and see in a different way. So, yeah. And although that I'm, I'm whinging a little bit about some very small minor things, overall, the experience is freaking amazing. Okay, cool. I'll take that, you. I have got Geology Cannon at the moment. I could swap that out to a shield, I guess. And then I could use that as a little bit of a shield if it's coming under heat. But you know what? I don't think I'm holding my own at the moment. Friggin' die, spawner! Oh no, it's got the healer on him. Where'd the healer go? There he is. Boom! Gotcha. 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 Got you again. No, I haven't. No, so I have. I love these little wizard ones. They do look like little wizards, don't they? They're little freaking pink cat. Boom! Okay, now we're in trouble. Okay, heal up. Pow! Boom! Hey man, you! You rascal! You roused them out! Pow! Fudge neck. There's lots of holes appearing now. Freaking die! Okay, right. I need I need a canister now for my shields. And of course, as you know, I've got to put my bloody gun away to pop the shield. And that didn't work. So it's not as responsive as you would like when you're coming under fire. Okay? This is wire to the wires. 
Uh, that's legged. Right, so I'm gonna have to. Oh, there's a big canister over there. If I shoot it, do I get my shield replenished? Yes. Okay, that's that, that's probably the way that I need to do it then. It's just to shoot the dang things rather than have to pick them up. It's just shoot them. And I didn't realise shooting them. Maybe that's just in VR, but shooting them seems to recharge shields. Try that again. Yeah, that did recharge my shield. That's what I'm going to do then. Rather than pick them up, I'm just going to shoot them because it seems to recharge shields outside of VR. Boom. Take that. I'm on phase two or three now. And now we've got the walker in. Oh my days, it's freaking huge. Okay, that's done, that's done. Boom. How? Yeah, that's made you go all bandy legged, hasn't it? Let's let's fire a freaking grenade at you or two. If I can find the button, you're in trouble. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. No healer. Don't you do your job. You get Okay, right. Pow! 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 Okay, um, how do I swap my bolt caster out? There we go, neutron cannon. Pow! 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 And the walker's down! Thank you, she is. Boom! Get him there, pow! Oh no, I think I'm stuck. Shine, now. Pow! I love the way you can just sort of stick your gun to the side. I was doing many favours there, I kept missing that freaking healer. Yeah! Dropped him while I was in the air. Freaking awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Getting pretty good at this. Say that to you. Gallywag. Like that? God, how many healers are there? Right, that's got rid of all the healers. Now I can just go, go and do my medication. Take like that, you! Yeah, you're going. You're, going, you're, going, you're pretty much stuck there, aren't you, Minotaur? Ha ha ha! Yes, advantage, Steve. You the last one left. Boom. I think we're done. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah! Take that! Okay, there must be one still left somewhere. But where? Oh, there. Is that it? We done? Oh no. Okay, brilliant. I think we are done now. Let's have them over. Even though it says nodes destroyed. Oh, two or three. I've got to destroy one more node. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. We're done. Great. Put that away. Interact to Mondo. Chicka pal. It looks like they fixed this menu. Don't know why it had to move me far back like that, though. Let's have a look what weapons in here, shall we, people? Nice. Extract weapon technologies. It's not bad. I really wish they'd put the incinerator in here for people that haven't got it. Oh, talking of which, I wonder if I've still got the incinerator inside. This is the multi-tool that I've usually got the incinerator on. And when I was cycling through my weapons, I didn't... Oh, uh, yeah, it is still there. Wow. Oh, that looks pretty cool in VR, doesn't it? Freaking heck, yes, it does. Lovely. Don't know why they don't bring that into game, people, for everyone. Okay, right. Lovely jobs. And um, I think we're about good, then, people. Let's head on over here. Let's get the free navigational data. Because every time you hit one of these masks, you get free navigational data. Yeah, it's quite a nice planet, to be fair, isn't it? And uh, we actually managed to complete a Quicksilver mission. I guess. Right, so I could head back to my ship, but I'm just going to call it over to me. Boom. And there we go. Here it comes. Oh, that looks so cool. 
Hello, my little wonderful ship, you. Okay, right, let's get in. Let's fly on up to the space station, then, people. And I am sort of getting used to the, the down to go up and the up to go down. Uh, I might just leave it like that, because I was used to it in sort of like air combat and stuff like that, so it's just a case of getting used to it, isn't it? Okay, here we go, quick menu. Oh no, wrong freaking one! Okay, how do I get back out of here? L2. Quick menu. And that one. Brilliant! Let's get rid of this one there. I'm getting I'm getting more used to this now, people. It's it's getting there, I think. I think I'm doing fairly good with all of this. Anyway, what do you think, Exit? Oh, I can't see Exo in my ship because I'm um, yeah, got my hand. I'd ask him when we land and get it out of the ship how we can start doing he could rate my performance. Positron injection. Okay, god lovely. I just love all these screens around it. This is great. I don't know if you're dying down there, you wouldn't even know if you're not. Look at that cabling, it's nice. Yeah, and the seat, look at the upholstery, it's very cool. What's behind there? Mm. Not much. Is there a second seat there? No. Okay, right, well, let's get out of them. Boom! Sweet! Ship spinning around, doing this little dance. Thank you, guys. Oh, I don't know, you need to walk straight into that, though. Okay, let's head on over to Nexus. Let's go and hand in the actual mission. Yes, I've completed my first mission in VR! Thank you, guys. Well done, me. Complete mission. Done, dilly, done. I would be playing a harmonica right now, people in the view of us. Took it for work. Right, okay, let's um, get in the ship out of the ship so I can uh, save that Quicksilver. Yeah, I love the job, eh? Excellent, eh? And uh, in my ship, and we get out of my ship, and hopefully everything's good. There we go, people. I think I just heard Ivy call me, so she must be home from work. So goodbye, people. Bye for now. Bye bye. Well, hello there, people. Right, well, we had a little bit of a camera mishap in that, but that is usually where I put my cup of tea. My hat's a little bit squiffy. There we go. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh, now it's totally squiffy. That's better. Like that. Boom. It's quite a nice little hat, that, doesn't it? I've done a little mini shorts video on it. It's my new merch. I'm hoping to wear it in the Philippines. Ivy probably won't let me. She'll probably say it looks too, too, too in your face or something. But I like it. I think it's awesome. Anyway, people, I digress. We're going off on tangent about my hat. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.